Hey there, it's Stacey Shelby. So today I wanna to do something a little bit different. Today, I want to show you what I did at my own house that I offer to my clients uh, whenever I'm working with them and helping them to come up with quick and easy updates that they can do that are not going to cost a ton of money. All right, so you wanna know what I did? Well, I'm gonna tell you in just a second before I tell you. If you're new, welcome to our channel and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. All right, so here's what I did. I painted my fireplace. Let's get right to it, right? I painted my fireplace and this is me in my living room and this is my fireplace and it looks amazing, you guys. Let me show you the picture of what it used to look like. Horrible, it was a hot mess. Um, this fireplace was in need of a facelift really, really badly. So today I'm going to show you what I did and show you how I did it. So we're going to get right start. We're, we're going to get right started. We are going to get started right now. So what you're going to do is you are going to get all of your supplies together. You are going to need something to clean the fireplace with. Um, you're going to also need primer, paint, you're gonna need a clear coat of a polyurethane. You're also going to need a paint roller and a paint brush, just a regular paint brush. And you might wanna get you a drop cloth or some type of, you know, something to keep the, the area around the fireplace from getting any paint drippings on it and so forth. Um, grab you a little rag too, like in a bucket of water because Paint's gonna probably be getting all over the place and you wanna be able to wipe that up. So here we go. The first thing I did, the first thing I did was I took the primer and I painted the mortar in between the stone. So after I did that, I then took my thick roller and I painted the entire fireplace, the stone, the hearth, the mantle, I painted all of that with the primer. I let, I did what, two, I think I did two coats. And after the last coat dried, I noticed that there were a couple of little like spaces, right? There were some spots where um, I wasn't able to get the paint in the hole or the crack um, or whatever that little space was. And all I did was I took a little bit of white caulk, some white silicone caulk. I filled in the space and let that dry. So once all the caulked areas were dry, I then commenced to painting. And this is where the magic happened, y'all. This is where the magic happened. I painted the first coat and it was, it was white. It, it looked really white to me. And so I took my paint swatch and I matched it. I kind of put it up against the wall because I wanted to see, I thought the color was wrong. So I'm looking at it going, okay, the color on the swatch is gray but what's painted actually looks white. But the more I looked at it, I actually liked the white. So I didn't even change it. I was like, you know what, it's fine. We're gonna leave it the way it is. The paint color that I used was called Snowbound. It is a Sherwin-Williams color and it really does look more gray on the swatch, y'all, but the white looks amazing. When it was all done, before I had done anything else, I just stepped back and I looked at it and it looked awesome. I mean, it was amazing. I loved it. So, so if you are thinking that you might wanna tackle a project like this, I actually wrote a blog about it. And in the blog, I put step-by-step -step instructions on everything that I did, as well as every single thing that I used. So if you have any questions about real estate or staging, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to serve. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.